Uh, well Washington County, if you saw within your uh, materials, has been a coalition um, that's been running for two years strong, really taking a holistic and inclusive route of working with employers, nonprofits, and other community members to get to the root causes of some of those health issues that are affecting Washington County. Through this work, um, we've had utilized uh, needs assessment processes through data with the county as well as uh, Greater Health and Aurora Healthcare that uh, collaborate every three years on a combined community health needs assessment process. A little bit of how we work. Um, so based upon the, um, the county's framework, uh, we're looking to um, improve overall environment, our workplaces, um, and environments for everybody to be part of. We're doing this through education, advocacy, and changing the environments through this coalition. Our priority areas, based on the identified needs that, uh, that we put a lot of emphasis towards, is increasing uh, physical activity and eating healthy, expand our work, work, workplace wellness initiatives, reduce substance abuse, and improve mental health. And you'll see there's actually cool little names that we have each, uh, for each area. So eat and move well, uh, work well, choose well, and think well. So we, as I mentioned, we have a great uh, group of partners that are working um, on this uh, coalition. Uh, Washington Ozaki uh, Public Health Department, um, Aurora Healthcare, Albany here in the county, um, the five uh, counties that are supporting tobacco-free communities, uh, United Way, and CESA 6. With that, I will kick it over to Kirsten to talk a little bit about the YRBS process. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Kirsten Johnson. I'm the director of the Washington Ozaki Public Health Department. <coughs> so why we're really here is to talk to you about the YRBS, which I'm sure some of you may be familiar with. It's a student data um, set. But the intent is to collect population-wide data around what our students or youth doing. And it really focuses on um, mental health, risky behaviors, um, things that we know that are adolescents, and behaviors that happen in adolescents that can lead, lead to adverse health outcomes as adults. Um, so really, our ask tonight is to have the board engage the West Bend School District in, in doing this survey. Um, our intent as a county is really just to have aggregate county data, um, really to monitor what's going on with our student body, to evaluate the impact of any sort of prevention efforts we have, because we, we have prevention efforts that we're using, but we really want to be effective in how we choose them and how we implement them to make sure they're addressing the needs of our students. Um, and it, we can use this data too for, as a school district, you can use it for your own use, but we intend to use it as a county for grants and like I said, really to focus our prevention efforts through our community health coalition. Um, so our ask is, and we are doing this to every school district in both Washington and Ozaki County, so I don't want you to think that West Bend has been singled out, <laughs> but we are asking every county, every school district to participate. We would like it to be um, starting in 2018 and then every, every even year, school year. Um, we would like to administer a common set of questions. We have a meeting set on October 30th with um, school districts in Washington County to sit down and talk about what are the questions and what do we want to ask as a core set of questions to report out as a county um, with the recognition that school districts have different needs and may not want to ask certain questions, but that is the capability is, a, is there. Um, if the intent is that school districts can choose which questions they want to ask, what they feel is most appropriate. Um, and we really would like to start with all high school students um, and if this works well and in future years um, include middle school. So I want to show you what our intention is. I think that's been one of the fears of school districts and um, around the state and including in Washington County. So this is a document. I'm going to hand it out. 